last uh, playing some Mario here. Okay, this is with that closing door stuff. Managed to get through that. And the weird looking uh, sprite redesign for the uh, saw there. I had something to talk about, but I forgot. I actually did something you never see me do, which is stop mid-level. And that's because I just felt like this this was going to go on longer than I wanted to for this video. A lot of movies I'm looking at this weekend, or plan to look at, I mentioned in one of the other videos in this series about how, uh, you know, I've got some actual press passes for some movies to screen, but uh, I actually have some movies I want to look at that I'm behind on in my personal life. Some of those being, uh, did we cross a halfway point here? Let me see if we crossed a halfway point. We did, good. Because I'd hate to save states and have screwed myself over. Whoa, okay, so I slid past it, but still taking the, end up taking the hit. But a uh, Lego movie I heard good things about. And then there's this movie called Video Games the Movie that I'm not hearing good things about. And rather than tell you it sucks without seeing it, I'm going to watch it first. I mean, clearly I'm a gamer, and uh, I'll tell you this, if they don't go into detail about the Nintendo section, expect a follow-up video somewhere on the channel letting this guy know how I feel personally. I had the opportunity to pay a place to go see this movie, but it's like, nah, I'll watch it online or something, or see it on, maybe it'll come on Netflix, I don't know, but it was a Kickstarter thing as far as I know, and I'm very weary about Kickstarter stuff because you pay people money for something and you're not really guaranteed a quality product at all. And you can say that's in anything you buy, right? But it's a different feeling when it's Kickstarter because you know this thing wouldn't have been done without your help and these people get the money up front. It's not like Walmart where you buy a piece of crap you know, item and you can't return it. It's like, oh, no, thank you for helping me out with the Kickstarter. Not only did you buy a piece of crap, but you may, we may not even needed all of your money to create this like we told you we did. You know, imagine if Lay's Potato Chips told you they needed your money to make these chips, and then you get the chips and you're just like, man, not only is there air in half the bag, but it, these things are crappy. Damn, I got hit again and didn't save. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. I may see Lucy with Scar Johansson. And I've told myself I'm not going to see it, only because I'm hearing it's kind of like Limitless, which I really enjoyed. I really thought that was a good movie. The ending gets bashed on a lot, but, you know, Limitless kind of is why I'm making these videos. That whole concept of doing what you can with the time you have, you know, maximizing your existence. You know, do you really need a pill to do that? you need a motivational speaker? You know, do you need other yellow hat guy? I don't know. For me, that might have been SSOH, Sir Seamus of Halo. It's, it's funny saying that now, because I've been watching his videos for so long, and he wouldn't tell people what the name meant, and now I know what it means. And it's just fun to say it. Like, what if O-Y-H, or, yeah, O-Y-H-G. I can't even say my own acronyms correctly. You know, that's just what it was, and I didn't tell you it was other yellow hat guy. I mean, yeah, you would know because you saw the hat, so that's a, a quick way to remember regardless. But, you know, what if it was something cool like Oscar Jägermeier, Oscar Jägermeister, Henry... Greystone, you know, what if it was something weird like that? My hat has the first name. It's O-S-C-A-R. And I died again, didn't save. I know someone's watching was like, 
I've seen this damn feather fly a hundred times already. Can you pass the part? And it's like the more stuff I have to say, or the more passionate I am about something, the more I tend to screw up. So you can't let your emotions get the best of you, right? Okay, so we got right here. Boom, got right here. And the, the thing is to remember to save right here because we're not trying to see that feather any more times than we have to. Boom. Boom. Okay, I didn't hit him there. Woo! And there's that first level. And if you're saying, that didn't seem like a long level, that's because the other half of it <laughs> you saw in the last video. So... Let's see here. Okay, so there were two exits there. We got through one. It'd be nice to get to that halfway castle. This is Zell Zone. What's this say? Zells are blocky creatures with faces, is what it should say, that show some gimmicks. Why don't... Why don't you check the door ahead? I don't know. I don't know what he was trying to say. Okay, so that bounces you. You can actually pick this one up. That door, or that thing moves. I'm not sure why he wanted me to go through the door if all I was going to do was... I don't know. Whatevs. I stopped asking questions. The red blocks kill you, though. So. It's too late to actually go back. Can I go back in this door? Okay, yeah. Would have been helpful if I read that. Red crushes you. Didn't really crush me. It just, I just died instantly. Purple hurts me. White, you can pick up. Cyan is slippery. Okay. So we're doing this again. Yes, we are. We're doing this crap again. And I touched the purple. Nice. Like if this thing would hurry up, that would that would be awesome. Jeez Louise. You douche, did you try to throw something at me? I don't even know what that thing is. It looks like Looks like an owl, a weird, uh, a crazy looking grim fandango. I don't know what the thing, thing is. Okay, reds are basically thwomps. Purple hurts me. That's what he said. You can pick this up. Blue bounces you. And then you got this. Boom, I hit it. That turns that. Oh, really? I forgot that. No. Let that ride. Okay. Okay, we got through here. Save. So another switch around here. Need this. Alright, boom. And he left you like four off switches to kind of screw you over. What a nice guy. Okay, so there's some red guys down here somewhere. I can hear them. Hurry up. Stupid purple. What are you doing? Jump straight up. There we go. Okay. Here. Oh, I made that anyway somehow. Let's just jump over that if we can. Save right here. Jump over this again. Keep going. Oh. Okay. Am I dead? Ooh. I started to reload a save there, but it's all good. Okay, so let's save right there. Honestly, I don't even know what part... Oh, look at that kills you. I don't even know what part we're on in the episode. I'll have to figure that out in post, but it's just like, hmm. If I'm not 
near the end of the game. Might blow a head gasket. Okay, so what we need to do is start sliding here. There we go. Well, at least that didn't crush you if you were stuck underneath. And somehow I still got hit there. Still got hit there. Am I not fast enough? Throw your stupid yo-yo or whatever it is and get out of my way. Okay, we got the mushroom here. Really? Like, you can't just go ahead and slide? Thank you. Come on, let's go. A keyhole over there, look at that. Ah! What is up with that? I'm not trying to make a Seinfeld joke there either. It's like, let's just go ahead and jump. What the hell are those things? It's like, you know, you ask and you get killed. Just, <laughs> just best not to even ask. I try to get through with the invincibility frames and didn't work out in my favor. Let's save. Boom. 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 That actually worked out. Okay, those guys are douches. Let's just keep going. Power up, please. Thank you. 74, 75, 76 coins right there. Total. Okay, we got to hide right here to fall down. Arrgh. I felt like things were going smooth. They still kind of are. I mean, whoa, you're trying to kill me, asshole. Okay. See, it's not the, it's not that that will kill you, it's, you can bounce right underneath there all you want. Somehow that's propelling me forward. Ugh, what a piece of crap this level was. Okay, we need to be right here. What the hell, the green ones, I just kept moving for whatever reason. Hurry up, okay, boom. We're right here, boom, we're right here, save right here, we're going to save again, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, how is this thing not over, wow. It makes you wonder, what was on the left then? Yeah, maybe I'm... Yeah, I was going crazy for a second. I was like, where the heck am I? Am I not at the part I saw a few seconds ago? Let's save right here. So you can't go that way. You gotta go this way. Douche! Get out of my way. Never good with these jumps right here. Always used to botch those. Imagine doing this whole level again because, you know, you don't have save states. As a kid, you know. Whew, all I can do is take deep breaths because the amount of crap that I'm dealing with and is, is just ridiculous. Like, where are the robot masters? Like, the game kind of started you out doing that and now it's like a forgotten concept. You're in some weird... Okay, yeah, fast forward because I don't give a shit. Excuse my French. Okay, Calypso Frontier. Let's try to knock this one out the park. Zach Temple, hey you, plumber, could you help me out with this egg I found? Okay, another Yoshi, awesome. And this sounds like Sonic the Hedgehog music. I don't remember what game this is, but this is definitely Sonic music. Gamma V, help me out here. 
here's an interesting fact about the yellow Yoshi. When it inhales a shell of any kind, it will give quake power to Yoshi. All right. So in other words, when he inhales, ugh, crap. Once he's big, I imagine. No, you're serious. I'm starting all the way back here. <laughs> oh, buddy. Please go. Hurry up. Hurry up. I don't care. Don't give a shit. Let's go. Give me the Yoshi. Let's save. I shouldn't have to deal with bullshit like that. Okay, how many of these things does he have to eat? Eat another? Oh my gosh. Will you eat? <laughs> he, he, he grew big and then let me get killed by that other thing. <laughs> oh my gosh, like, seriously. That's all that needed to happen. Okay, thank you. Move the frick out of my way. I don't care about the quake power. I care about being able to... Okay, power up here. Yeah, the quake thing, I don't really care about. In the grand scheme of things, that's cool, but clearing out enemies that are in my way, even cooler. Okay, whatever. Yeah, this level would be over without Yoshi. I was about to get really upset, like, how far back was it that we saved? That's what I should have done the first go-around. You know, because going to the left is what you should have done, knowing that we were facing right. That, that... Let's, let's... I, actually, in hindsight, that was more my fault. That's what he was supposed to do, I guess, run into that wall. But he gave, like, zero room to jump back on. Like, what the hell is this? Sh Ugh! Yeah, this is a cool concept, but, uh, yeah, I won't be replaying this one, like, ever. Won't be replaying this one, ever. So, if something happens, Nintendo gets involved and says they don't want to see this on the channel, or whatever. The creator, if you're watching and you're upset that I'm telling people I'm not playing it, I'm not telling them not to play it. I'm just letting you know, this is a bunch of bullshit and I won't be playing it anymore. You know, after I finish it, like, just for, like, this level alone right here is just, like, yeah, I'm not playing this anymore. Okay, so you hold down here. I won't be replaying this game, that's what I'm trying to say. <sighs> okay, so, uh, you got him, boom, jumped over that, boom, jumped over that. That was just a halfway marker, right? That wasn't the full level? Can you believe this? So when you watch this video and you're like, you know, why are you on part like 8,000? And then you see like how long these stages are. Because I swear, like, had this been another Mario hack, like, the amount of time I've put into this one should have like ended another one. And I'm not talking about just like demos. Great, I lost everything there. Okay, let's go. Don't have patience right now. Okay, so, Daruma Empire. Let's go ahead and knock that out. 
You know, screw it. I'm just going to keep going. I'm not even going to end it right here. This is going to be a 30-minute special solely because I'm trying to get through with World 6 and just get to where we need to be. Okay, so let's actually save. Not sure where this music is from either. Hurry up, hurry up. Like, the HUD is really in the way here. You're trying to look at where the lightning is coming down from. Okay. Come on, grab the chain. There we go. And that's a weird looking swamp. Look at that. So he did reskin the swamps. Something I was wary of, but, you know. Hurry up! Well, how does that stay there for like five freaking seconds? I swear, it's like you're at the DMV or something waiting for this... <sighs> like... <sighs> Woo! This is fun. Fun game, bro. Do you even play, bro? I think the, my problem with this guy's play design is he picks one gimmick and he abuses the crap out of it. You're like a slave to that whole like play style for that entire level. It's like, oh yeah, don't for, for forget your basic platforming skills. If I'm going to introduce uh, some kind of you know hazard block, you best respect that the entire stage. And it's one thing if your stage is like a two-minute stage, like a traditional Mario thing or whatever. But yeah, t you know, let me just stop complaining. Okay, we're going to save right there because this is, again, something that's annoying. It's like this... I wonder if the the... the the difficulty for this was like rated Kaizo. Just, just, just wondering, because everywhere I turn in this world, like, and it, it's like, give me some kind of hint that this is the last world, because if it isn't, and you've got all kinds of crap like this just appearing, like, I don't want to play the rest of your game, like. And again, you know, we, I, I talked in another series about Gamma V's games versus some of these other creators, you guys really need to think about this stuff. Like, are you making these games just to annoy people? To see if people will finish them? Or are you actually intending for people to finish them? Oh, you're not a good Mario player because you didn't finish my sick and twisted deranged Dexter style level hack. Stop the fun, man. The fun. And this puts the F-U in fun. Or at least it takes it out. It's just N. Like, N for no. Like, like no! Like, ass Nas, he don't want to with hoes. No! That's, that's just what this is right here. Okay, saving right here. Forgot that that was a chain. a weird looking flamethrower or whatever too. What the heck are these things? They're like on um, pogo sticks, but I don't know how I didn't save sooner either. Like disappointed in myself there. It's like they jump and then every other third jump. You know because what they are the the ninjas. They're 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 reskins of them. So they're slightly more annoying because you, you see them on pogo sticks. They have some kind of charging chuck sound. And yes, kids, 
Your eyes don't deceive you. That that was the halfway marker there. Can you see how long that shit lasted for? Jeez. Dead, get off the screen. Dead, get off the screen. Like this is the midway castle, not like world not not the Okay, they actually run after me now. <sighs> yeah. I'm breathing. I'm taking deep breaths. I just like how he's got like fast paced music to make you want to just keep platforming. But everything he throws at you forces you to slow down. And then he trolls you at the very end of the thing by having a... a uh, a little cannon or whatever the hell that thing was come at you at the end of the stage. You know, because they've jumped straight up the entire level. But no, at the very end we'll just have everything come at you. Those are basically the the uh, Koopas right there. And a fire bro, it looks like. And he died. So what the hell is next? Yeah, I'm gonna have to take a break after this. Let me let me see how I'm doing on time, because this is a bunch of crap, this whole yeah. Almost at thirty minutes. And all of that just to get to the actual boss. Like I I guess he really didn't count on people not playing this without save states. It's like you have to to finish this. And when a game forces you to play that way, it's not fun at all. It's almost two o'clock and the post office is still not here. I'm not even reading what Iggy said. I don't I don't I don't really just I don't care. Just don't don't even care. Yeah, so he gave him a shield, he tried to redraw him. He's ugly. He's got a force field. Like, it follows you. <laughs> okay. Nice. Fantastic. Super. Ten out of ten. I got six dollars, Mick. Nice. Did I say nice already? Groovy. Okay, so, um, remember that Game Pro magazine? Do y'all remember that? And how I used to give ratings for certain games, like for the music and what have you? And certain games got, like, fun factor. I'm just picturing, like, a thumbs down and, like, a zero for this one right now definitely a zero. Like, I want to give it a one because I felt like the first half of the game was a different game. I don't know if one guy did like the first half of the game and somebody else did the second half. This just kind of, it just, yeah, it just, 
So if you duck, you know, you can avoid that because, you know, hiding is what you're taught to do in Super Mario World. Not only does he have a force field, but he's able to follow you. He can use the force field as a projectile. So we got one hit in on him. He better only take three. Really? I said load. And I accidentally saved over that. Oh joy. <laughs> um Yeah. Uh Yeah, the, the series is over. The series is over. Yeah, that's that's the series is over. <laughs>